Hi folks, in today's video tutorials, I'm going to show you how to use the base features with Creo Parametric 4.0 or how it is possible to create an elbow model. So you can see here that I have started to use the standard extrude feature and set up the base dimensions. The another feature what is necessary to place is the hole and you can see that if I select the placement for the hole is necessary select the references and set some dimensions yeah then you can set up the depth and finish if you would like to make a pattern so you can select pattern in one direction or two directions for example like here another feature will be middle hole I'd like to place the middle hole in between two surfaces, so I'll create the axis between two dating planes, and then with control button we can set the start surface. Again, set depth and confirm OK. If you would like to select all intent edges, select right mouse button and select left. And system will create for you necessary round. Over here I like to create the base axis and this axis I like to use in the future for copy and paste special function. The definition of the dimension is to calculate by equations from the drawing for example and use similar to Excel spreadsheets. Then you can select necessary features, what you would like to copy and use paste special. Apply move and rotate and then I'd like to rotate about existing axis. You can set again value and for example I'd like to use the angle 90 degree. So we can see here that looks that it is almost good. I'd like to show you that if I will create a sketch feature in the sketch, I like to use the reference. Yep, yeah, so we can spin the objects to 2D, or you can select the references because I like to use the reference as axis. And this reference I like to use for arc. And if I will a little bit spin the model, yeah, to 2D, you can see that my copy and paste feature was created but we need to move a little bit so if i will select the definition i would like to add new move and i'd like to move by some datum planes or curve and then i'd like to move to by 15 millimeters yeah so if i finish this feature and I'd like to start to create another sketch or the same sketch what you have seen so over here if I will select the axis and if I will use the arc everything will be okay so right now I create a curve for me and this curve I'd like to reuse for sweep feature Okay, so if I will select the sweep feature, I can change the start point. Yeah, for example, on the bottom. And then I jump to the sketch. And in the sketch, if I sell references, I can create only inner circle. So you can create both. Or over here in 3D, you can specify that you would like to use the thickness. Yeah, thickness. And specify value. So I like to use the thickness. 2.5 millimeters because outside diameter is 45 and offset outside. If I will finish, yeah. The last feature what is necessary to add is the rounds features. So you can see here that it's possible to select round feature and select edge, control set value control button and under the edge and if I will 
select the another edge without control and set new value and again with control button we will use the same round on the another edges and question is if it's everything okay so we can create the quick section and select the plane and you can analyze the 3d model yeah everything looks good you can compare it with the source drawing at the end we can deactivate the section and for example we can change the color appearance for 3d model so choose the color select my name from the model tree and it's everything done